Johnny Mosley here for Peter Glenn Ski and Sports. We're talking skis at Vocal with Jeff Curtis. Having a great time, I love this stuff. Now, Jeff, this Vocal, which is very sexy looking ski, is called the Deacon Low Ride. And low rider or low ride? Low ride. Low yeah. ride. Now, low ride refers to the binding system. Exactly. So I didn't even know this was something I needed. Uh, right. But after I skied it, I was like, dude, this ski is awesome. And I t tell me what being lower on the ski uh, does for you. Uh, it gives you a little better feel, uh -huh. a little better sensitivity to the snow because you're closer to the snow. You get a more, a little more direct connection to the snow. Yeah. And it also makes the ski, the binding drive the ski a little quicker from edge to edge. Interesting. Yeah. Well, it's, it's it's so messed up because you know, for so long we were going like to these risers and getting higher up on right. the ski and higher up on the ski. And I remember, um, you know, back in the day when I was, you know trying to get the companies to give me a, a binding without a plate. Right. There was a while there you couldn't even get a binding without a plate. And for like a freestyler, it sucks because it's, you don't, I don't need, I'm not getting some high edge yeah, angle boot out. and I'm yeah. not going to boot out and I don't need the extra weight and I don't care if the ski has like perfect flex, even underfoot because I'm not on an icy race right. course. Um, but now, and, and we always wanted to be lower and lighter anyway on a ski, but now I didn't realize it was something that, you know, people who carve would think about as yeah. well. Well, part of reducing the the height of that interface um, does give you a lighter weight overall. Oh, that's binding. nice. So that's bonus. giving you lighter weight too. So that is a bonus. And um, so tell me how you do it though, because I, I noticed. I remember looking down the ski. It's got like an interesting spot right around there. Yeah, that's where the actual ski is built in and and creates the binding interface with the construction of the ski. So this this oh, ski so this has track the is actually built, built directly in. into it. Oh, it's yeah. not a track. So you just basically took the There's you no took the track added to the ski. You, you took a plate. Yeah. And built it so into the construction of the ski. Right off of there. That's, oh. that's what's underneath there. So that's giving you wow. That, you, I can't think of a way to create more power transmission than to actually have the binding grab onto the ski from the outside like that. That's awesome. That is really cool. That's something only Vocal and Marker are doing. That is really cool. I didn't, you know, when I skied it and loved it, I didn't realize that that was what, how you did it. Yeah, so that's why you have such good power transmission coming yeah. from the binding, you know, from your boot down to the binding. Right, right. right. right right up to the ski. Very cool, and so. bonus, those things just slide right on. You order the binding, the whole package. Yeah. You can yeah. potentially do it at home, but yeah, don't. Yeah. Go yeah, into Peter Glenn. You shouldn't do that. <laughs> but uh, the, the other thing that the Deacon 84 has, the low ride system, yeah. uh, in addition to that is our 3D radius side cut technology. Oh, it's in here too. And Tetanol frame construction. So oh, that's wow. something that we introduced actually in our M5 Mantra last season uh -huh. is the Tetanol frame. Yeah. So we've brought that same technology. You can see how the Tetanol follows the perimeter uh, cool. of the ski. Cool, yeah. Uh, on the front and in the back. Yeah. And then our 3D radius side cut gives you that incredible versatility to go from a long turn to a short turn. Yeah. However you want to ski, then you can tell the ski what to do. Okay, so the 3D radius side cut, we, we'll touch on it a little bit more here, but we went into depth on the Kendo, which is a different review. So go check that out. But essentially, um, it's uh, the side cut under your foot from this section of the ski is gonna be a little tighter, so a little more of a, what do you, what's in this one, 716? It's, it's giving you that quicker turn shape. Okay, yeah. quicker turn shape, so you can get it going, but then when you wanna let it run, essentially, just so you know what side cut's all about, if you have a ton of side cut, like imagine taking a, a, a shaped slalom ski and going really fast down a run, it wants to keep turning on you. You can't just like let it glide. Like that's yeah. why downhill boards are really long and straight because you want to let them let it glide. You don't want the thing hooking up. So that's why you want sort of a more mellow uh, radius at the tip. You take it yeah, from here in the front. So that yeah. that's giving you your stability. That's making it so the ski doesn't catch. Just like what you were just saying, it doesn't right. want to catch and go this way and this way. Yeah. Until you get it on edge, and right. then that's where that tighter side cut kicks in. Yeah. And takes you through the turn. The middle of the turn is very very supportive, really good shape to it. Yeah. And then the back of the ski, the radius is a little long because you don't want to keep kicking yourself all the way across the trail. You want to release from the turn at some point. Cool. All right, so just real quick for our for our buyers, our customers, um, what? why would I buy this versus this? Because I know this thing carves really well. Yeah. This thing carves a little if better. If you like to ski, yeah. Uh, if you like to spend most of your time on the groomers on the front side of the mountain, yeah. the Deacon 84 is in our front side category. That's gonna ski better for you. If you like to ski 
on the groomers or if there's a powder day, if there's new snow, do you go out and chase that? Yeah. Then that's when you would buy a free ride ski like the Kendo 88. Beautiful. All right, cool. Thank you very much, Jeff. That was uh, Thank you. excellent and informative. Oh, last thing, size. What size? Yeah. Where, where do you we want it? Just for, nose to- For expert skiers, about head height. Like this ski would be the right size for me right here. Okay, cool. And that's a 177. Okay, yeah. So, so probably about- And as right you drop right. down, I, I always tell people, anywhere that's in your, in your face is a good place to start with ski size. Perfect, remember that. If it's in your face, it's right. All right, thank you, Jeff. Johnny Mosley for Peter Glenn Ski and Sports. Have a great run.